We're here today with Don McKenzie, who's Director of Business Process Outsourcing at Lionbridge Technologies, and we're talking about how Lionbridge is helping state governments. Uh, Don, can you uh, tell us a little about Lionbridge and how Lionbridge helps the state government of, in Pennsylvania and other states process tax returns? Sure. Thanks, Michael. Um, good to be with you. So, um, Lionbridge enables more than 800 world-leading brands to increase international market share, speed adoption project products, and uh, effectively engage our customers in local markets worldwide. Um, using our innovative cloud technology platforms and our U.S. and global crowd of more than 100,000 professional cloud workers, we provide translation, online marketing, global content management, and uh, application testing solutions that ensure glo global brand consistency, local relevancy, um, you know, technical usability across all the different touch points of a customer uh, life cycle. Um, so for Lionbridge, we're based in Waltham, Massachusetts, and we have uh, 26 uh, solution centers uh, all across the world. Um, for our state government customers, um, like Pennsylvania, over the last 10 years, we've worked primar primarily with uh, departments of revenue and taxation to help lessen the impact of uh, tax processing on those organizations. Um, with the IRS tax filing deadline of uh, Tuesday, April 15th, just around the corner, departments of revenue are gearing up for processing and tax returns, and uh, RV Capture offering allows our customers to leverage a secure U.S.-based crowd of data completion specialists to um, nearly eliminate the need for manual data entry in their, uh, in their processing centers. And we do this by breaking the individual fields on a tax return into non-contextual snippets of information. Um, an example would be a first name uh, would be a snippet, part of an address would be another snippet, and so on. And for sensitive fields, Mike, we, uh, like a social security number, we'll break it into two snippets to further protect taxpayer data. Um, the snippets are assigned a unique ID, scrambled, and then sent over a secure connection to our uh, crowd platform to be worked. Uh, our customer snippets can only be reassembled back at their location behind their firewalls. So it makes for a really secure and, uh, and flexible solution. Sounds like a great solution, Don. Uh, can, it, can you tell us a little bit about Lionbridge and how, um, uh, how Lionbridge works with local governments on property tax or municipal income tax returns? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so what we found is budgets get tighter and, uh, you know, all the municipalities are expected to do more with less. And, you know, vCapture can be leveraged the same way uh, for a local or a municipality that, um, that some of the bigger state departments of revenue do. Um, so really what it can do is provide uh, a secure way to lessen that data entry bur burden. And it's an on-demand service. So for a smaller municipality uh, or a county government, they can use it when they need it uh, to handle like spikes in processing, and then uh, and then turn it off. And uh, what advice do you have for government administrators on the use of Lionbridge and other crowd sourcing pr providers uh, to a complete data-driven tasks? That's that's um, that's really an interesting area. You know, it seems like every week there's another story in the news regarding a data breach. So when advising people um, on, you know, as they consider crowdsourcing as an option for a government agency, really data security is the most critical component. And as crowdsourcing gains acceptance, more startups are entering the market. So, you know, what we tell people is, is find a partner with a proven track record, a strong internal security compliance guidelines. Uh, that's really crucial. And solid financials. And that really seems to be the best way to ensure uh, a successful engagement while still protecting your constituents' data. And what are some other uh, government crowdsourcing applications, Don? So, you know, Mike, in many cases, government agencies and industry have very similar needs. Um, big data is a term you hear a lot these days. So using big data to improve services or increase tax collection. Um, agencies may want to move certain tasks that aren't core to their business, like uh, document processing or accounts receivable and payable to the crowd. All that can make sense. Um, at Lionbridge, we apply our business process crowdsourcing methodology to help identify areas uh, of an agency's workflow that have the potential to be successfully crowdsourced. Not everything can be, but um, you know, if you take the time to, to look, uh, you can find good areas in, inside the agencies. 
And Don, I saw uh, on uh, the Lionbridge website some of uh, Lionbridge's services, and you mentioned translation services. What other services to government does Lionbridge offer? So we offer a broad range of services to government, um, including on-site interpretation, uh, telephonic interpretation. We do transcription and, like you mentioned, translation. Um, for many agencies, we've been providing these services since 1986, so we've got a, you know, a long history in, in that space. Our customers uh, in government include federal departments and agencies, including um, the U.S. Department of Justice and Department of uh, Homeland Security. And we have numerous state, county, and uh, municipal government entities, too, that we uh, perform those services for. And, Don, last question. Uh, your background, uh, were you a city council person or mayor or some other city administrator? No, my uh, my wife is uh, more into that side of uh, of the world on the political and um, you know getting involved that that side. I've always been more on the uh, more on the operation side of uh, of the business. I've um, run different companies over the years and and have been really involved in document processing, document capture for the last uh, ten years. So it's uh, it's been a lot of focus on optimizing operational efficiencies for me. This is very helpful, Don McKenzie uh, from Lionbridge Technologies, and much appreciate your spending time with Government Product News and outlining uh, your firm's services, and uh, look for uh, this write-up uh, on the web and as well as on our GPN website and the American City and County website. So thanks again for your time, Don. Mike, thank you. It was a pleasure speaking with you.